Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Unknown Goddess. Yo, <laughs> I was doing a pre-shuffle. I was not even gonna come out here and do a reading tonight. And when I shuffled out these the cards, my collective, there is somebody's fake ass baby mama that set up this masculine because he moved on with his life, got married, bought a new house, married his empress. And she set this man up or set this wife up to get killed. She, she was messing with a king of wands. This king of wands got caught up. And that king of wands was also that emperor's friend. So he was sleeping with his friend's baby mama. And the baby mama was pissed off that the emperor moved on. And she thought that would have made him jealous sleeping with his friend. She got pregnant by that friend. Try to pin it on the babe, on the emperor, because she, he already has kids with her, to separate him and his wife. He and the wife goes to court, come to find out the child wasn't his, because he went back to apologize to his wife, because the wife was about to make the decision, if this child is yours and you went back to your baby mama, it's done. Come to find out, he was not the father. Then she gets mad. She goes after him for child support. Because when he found that when the emperor found the empress, it's like life purpose. Okay, they serve each other's life's purpose. The uh, the upgrade took place. The sudden wealth took place. She tried to make it seem as if she was telling all sorts of lie on the emperor about him to his wife that she had a threesome with him and his friend her friend did the emperor in his butt. Then she tried to go after child support. Then she was doing spell work. Then she tried to say that she was pregnant, but it wasn't his. It was for the friend. It was so fucking chaotic. I was like, uh-uh. This emperor needs to get this warning. It's just, it was just, it was just, it was just ridiculous. And I was mad with myself too. I was like, what the hell? I was like, goddess, why the hell you didn't record this? You should have seen the whole spread, y'all. But there's an emperor out here that needs to be warned that this baby mama, she is the fucking devil. You hear me? And she's pissed off because you are, you have stepped up in your life. You married a beautiful empress, somebody who is very independent. And while she would, while y'all was together, you couldn't make it. It was like living from like paycheck to paycheck. And when you got with this empress and got married, because the marriage card came out, the upgrade card came out, the great fortune came out, the life purpose card came out. Since he met the empress, his wife, this broad is trying to set this man's wife up to get rid of her. The death card came out in three different decks. And the fucking cold part about it, she made it seems as if she was all good and happy for him so she could get close to the wife. She was even going to the house where they bought the new home. Big ass house. And she set that friend up. She told that friend to rob him. It was just crazy, but I feel like this emperor needs to know that your baby mama is plotting to kill your wife. She did try to go after the wife. And from what I've seen in the spread and the wife made it, I feel like the wife was in a coma for a very long time because the astro travel card came out. And you may be having out of body experience along with three different death cards. So she was expecting to hear the news that the wife passed on so she can send her condolences. And I'm so sorry for your wife's untimely passing, blah, blah, blah. She was the one. She's the one plotting this. She's setting this up. So I, I feel like this emperor, he needs to know this, okay? Woo! There go, there it go. There it go. What did I just say? I just put the freaking dad. Look at that. Mas mature man, mature woman. This is a husband and wife, but this baby mama is fucking pissed off because she feels like the empress stole her place. This is my divine masculine, my divine feminine. There go the emperor, there go the empress. I can't make this shit up because I, was, I wasn't going to do any readings tonight, my collective. But my emperor, you need to know that your baby mama is setting up to kill your wife. She tried to pin a pregnancy on you. She tried, she tried to say, she tried to tell the wife that you, you and her had threesomes and you had men. She had her friends doing you, her male friends doing you. That didn't work. 
Then she was fighting for more child support. The judge didn't give her more. She only got what was needed because this emperor is taking care of his seed or his seeds already. So she's trying every stunt. She was even doing spell work, black magic. She was doing the whole nine to the point where she's really, really want to get rid of this empress. Oh no, y'all. But I just, I just, I think I just masculine, divine masculine. You need to hear this. You need to hear this about your baby mama. She's pissed off because she feels like the woman that you marry or is about to marry is taking her place. Ever since you got with this empress, your life has totally upgraded. Yo. So this reading is definitely for my divine masculine to be aware of this, this baby mama. Okay. She's off the hook. Yeah. She's going to end up going to jail for trying to harm, harm the empress. She's going to end up going to prison. Because she's, she's trying to get rid of your wife or your fiancé. Okay, now. So, let's pull it out here. Let's see what's going on, honey. Because this, this baby mama is crazy. She's toxic. Okay? Message of concern. All right, now. So, this message of concern right here is what I'm taking as that. She's going to try to call you out. She's going to try to call you out of the house. Make it seem like there's something wrong. Because every time she calls you, there's always something. She's trying to interrupt your life. She's always trying to make it seem like there's something wrong with the kids. And when you get there, ain't nothing wrong. Because she is, she even, she even tried to get herself. She's trying to make it seem like when you come over there to see the kids, right? When you, when she calls you with a message of concern about the kids, she's trying to go, she's trying to make it seem like when you come over there, you and her are getting it in. And so she's going to try to tell the, your wife or your fiance to separate y'all that when y'all, when you come over there to visit the kids, that's when y'all have sex together. I'm telling you, she's plotting that y'all are still lovers. That's what she's plotting. So this masculine, this message is for the divine masculine. You got a crazy ass baby mama out here. There you go again. Distance horizons. All right, because with that distance horizons, that's my three of wands. You already made your decision. You, you're you about to get married to this empress. Okay, mature man came out again. Okay, you're waiting for your ships to come in with your wife. Y'all are, pl are planning to get married very soon. If not, near are about to have something come in. Something is going on here, but she crazy. This is what's coming in the near future. Okay, if it hasn't already it happened, but this is what's going on. Distance horizon, be on the lookout for this baby mama because she's plotting and she's pissed off because she feels like this empress has taken her place. Because ever since you got with that empress, your life has totally upgraded completely. You look different. Money is flowing. Everything is abundant. All right now, she crazy. Poverty. All right now, she feels like she's left out in the cold. All right. She's trying to hurt you. She's going to try to take you for your money. She's trying to do everything to fuck your life over. Yes, she is. There go. Child support. That's what she wants. She feels like you left it. She feel like you got that money. You got that bread. She's trying to take you for everything. And she feels like ever since you up, since you left her, she's upgraded. You upgraded to the wealthy man and she's left in poverty with a child. That's how she's feeling. Okay. So this is what's coming. So she and she was front like she was happy for y'all. She was front like she was happy for y'all. Yup, there it go. I can't make this shit up. Look at that. What's right here? Mature woman, marriage, and wealthy man. Because ever since you got with this mature woman, who's a who is on your life's purpose, who you and them are destined to be, you about to get married. Distance horizon. Y'all are planning to get married this year. Okay. Y'all, you're planning to get married, but she feel like she's left out in the cold with a child. She should be in this empress place. I can't make this shit up. I did a pre-shuffle on this shit. Shuffle these cards out and spirits like you need to give this emperor the warning. Because this baby mama's crazy. She feel like she should be in this place. You left her out with a child. She's pissed. Yo. Listen, and you're taking care of your seed. You're good, wealthy man. Ever since you met this woman, y'all upgraded together because that's the empress. She's a boss. You're a boss. She got her own. She's independent. She don't need you and you don't need her. But ever since y'all came together, this is y'all life purpose. That wealthy man, that's you. You upgraded since you left her. You got out of this poverty since you left her. There's no more struggling like that five of pentacles living paycheck to paycheck. No, no. You're about to get married. 
I told you, you're about to get married in the near future to this, this divine feminine, and she don't like that shit. She feel like she's the one that should have been there. You see that 13? That's that Scorpionic energy. You probably a Scorpio. You probably a Taurus or a Leo, okay? Your, your, your wife could be a, a Capricorn. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She could be, your baby mama could be a Sagittarius. I don't know. A Gemini. Gemini, Capricorn in her child. I don't know, but she's pissed because this is your life purpose. Mind, body, and soul. This marriage, the love is real. The connection is real. This is some real love, soulmate energy. Okay? And she don't like this. She don't like this. She's pissed off because she feels like you left her out. She feel like she's struggling with this child, but it's not. You take care of this child. That's her feeling in poverty. That's her feeling in lack. She don't want to work. She wants you to take care of her. Okay? So she's pulling all sorts of stunts. Oh my goodness. This shit is really coming out. There go the imprisonment card again. She's feeling bound. This somebody, something official is about to happen out here. That somebody going to end up in prison and that's her. Let's pull the tarot on this because I know what I'm talking about. I was not going to do any readings tonight. I was just messing around with the cards and spirit was like, get your ass online and give this emperor the warning. But you guys are protected. I just, I just, it's just that, you know what they say? My grandma always say prevention is better than a cure. So be on the lookout for this broad. Be on the lookout. Okay. There go the three of wands again, distance horizon. Okay, that's 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 it right here, honey. You are making future plans with your new wife. Okay? And she's planning on casting some type of judgment going on out here. You made a decision to move on with your life. You made that decision to move on with your life. And you want a happy life. She don't like that you made your mind up. She don't like that you're absolutely sure that this judgment, this relationship is over between you and her. And you're moving on to get married. She don't like it. She don't like that. Uh-uh. She don't dare it go. I can't make it up. There go the two of cups. That's you and your wife. That's you and her. There it is. Okay? The love is real. It's genuine. It's past life love. Okay? You're moving on. You made that decision. You proposed to this wife or this woman already. If not, if y'all are not married already. Oh my goodness. This is toxic. This is toxic. She don't like this shit. She's pissed. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Let's see what else is going on, but this is what she's doing. This is what she's doing. Whenever this child is, she calls you with that message of concern about this child. Uh-huh. That's what she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Because she feels like she's left out. She wants more money. She's doing the most. She wants to take you back to court because of this. She's jealous of this empress. Okay? She's absolutely jealous of your future wife, or if not your wife already. Absolutely. Absolutely. She don't like this. Look at that. Toxic. Look at her. Fucking devil. Or she could be a Capricorn, or this, or this Empress is the Capricorn. Okay? But she's jealous of your wife. Or your future wife-to-be. Okay, yeah, because she don't like the fact that the, you and the, you you and her is living this happy, successful life. She don't like this shit. There go the Ace of Cups. I can't make this shit up. She's feeling like a cold-hearted witch right now. Queen of Swords. That's the baby mama. That's the baby mama. But you need to be a sharp thinker as well. When you're going around her and something ain't sounding right, you need to think sharply. Okay? Don't let her fool you with this. And, and you better make a head over heart decision when it comes to this broad. Okay? Don't let her use this child to manipulate you because she's trying to plot to get you away from the house so she can hurt your wife or your fiance. She's crazy. She was even fucking with one of your friends. Yep, there it go. Yeah, ever since you got with this lover, with this empress, everything, you, you've you been secured, okay? You've been really secured and you're holding back on her. You're only giving her what's necessary for this child. You're not doing the extras for her. You were in the previous, in the pre-shuffle, in the, in the pre you were doing extras. You was giving her a more unexpected income than what she was supposed to be getting from child support, right? Or whatever you're giving her. But you're holding back ever since you got with your love and she don't like that. You're not giving her that extra amount of money. You're not giving her. You're only holding. You, you, you're only giving what's securing that child. Not her anymore. You moved on. 
She don't like that. Your baby mama could be an Aquarius. You could be the Aquarius, my divine masculine. But she don't like this. She don't like the fact that you, yeah, she's right here watching. She's right here watching you guys. She's stalking the fuck out of y'all. I'm telling you that right now. She's stalking y'all. Because she's feeling miserable. Look at her. Five of swords. That envy and that jealousy is eating her alive. She feel like because she got the child with you, she should have the upper hand over you. She should be the one that should be in your life. You're the one. She's the one that you should be marrying. Okay? Yeah, she don't like this judgment that you're making, this decision that you made. The absolute, And you're absolutely sure about who you want to be with, and it's not her. And she is pissed, okay? That queen of swords and this devil card, this broad is obsessed with your baby, with your fiancé or your soon-to-be wife, okay? She's jealous. She's out here spreading rumors. I'm telling you what she's doing right now. She's even going online trying to find information about this, this, this mature woman to bring news back to you so you could break up with her. That's what she wants. She wants you to make your judgment on leaving her, but it ain't going to work. Everything that she does. Yeah, messages. There you go. There you go. She calls you with these messages, message of concern. Hmm. She tried to tell you, like, I don't know. I've, I found out some information about her. She was locked up in back in her day. She's trying to dig up old information on this mature woman so you could turn change your mind about her. That's what she's trying to do. Gather information on this empress. So because so, she know that you absolutely love this woman and you're in love with her and she's jealous. She envies this connection between you and her. Yeah. She's trying to find out all sorts of secrets on her, trying to cause burdens to your relationship. Yo, she's toxic, yo. Look at that. She don't like this. She's even trying to tell this. She's even trying to put offers of love into you to trick you to come back in. So when, so when she, oh my God. Oh my God. She's even making love advances towards you, knowing that you're about to get married. With that judgment card, marriage card out here, two of cups. She know you and her is about to get married. She's trying to put in this love offer. She's trying to interrupt this ace of cups. This successful, happy life that you have. And she hates it. She hates it. She hates it. She's obsessed with you guys. Connection. That's why she stays stalking. Yo. Be very mindful, my divine masculine. Okay, she's very sneaky. Be very cautious with the seven of swords here. Be very cautious. She's trying to betray you. Okay, I seen that star card again. This is your life's purpose. Yes, look at that. She's pissed off. She's pissed. She's like a raging fucking bull right now. You hear me? Why? Because this is what's happening. This is what's about to take place. This marriage. She knows that you're happy. Okay, so you already married your wife. You already married her. Y'all already married. There it go again. Three of Pentacles. Marriage. Sun card. She's trying to ruin your marriage. She's trying to ruin your life. Yes, she is. And she's doing anything that it takes to ruin your marriage. Oh, my God. Yes. She's pissed off because it's time for her to move on. She, she don't like the fact that you find a piece of resolution and you moved on and you're happy. She don't like this. I don't know how else to say this. Yup, Ten of Pentacles. Huh? You take care of that home. You take care of that child. But the fact that you found somebody that's competitive to her, you didn't marry her, and that's what the problem is. And ever since you married this, ever since you got with this empress, things have been flowing. That's success. You upgraded. You totally, life has completely been a 360 for you with this empress. Okay. I feel like with the poverty, it was a hand to mouth, paycheck to paycheck, five of pentacles energy, living, being with the baby mama, right? But ever since you met this empress, you guys are fulfilling each other's abundance. The blessings are flowing between y'all because this is destiny. This is destiny. How's she going to stop this? Y'all probably even moved to a nice, nice community, got a nice house. You moved on with your life. She needs to, too. Yeah. She needs to move on and find her own security. She needs to go master her own plans and learn to get things done on her own. That's what she needs to do. But she's pissed. Yup, she's pissed off. There she go. Queen of Cups. There go the baby mama. There she go. There she go. I'm going to tell you that right now. She's crazy. 
Something is wrong with her. Oh my God. Let's see what's going on. Let's 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 get the scoop on this baby mama. I told you with the Queen of Cups, she's out here front like she's happy for y'all. She probably even came to the motherfucking wedding. She probably even came to the wedding, but she's obsessed. She she it's like. She got to be in the midst so she can know what's going on. She don't want to hear anything through the grapevine. No. She comes around. She's she's very sneaky. And she's very toxic. And at the same time, she comes around. And she's tr she's still talking shit about your wife to you. Trying to, to interrupt your relationship. So you can make a decision to move on from your wife and end the marriage. She's doing everything she can. She only comes around to gather information and go back and talk about y'all. And then on top of it, she try to find information on your wife. And then come back and tell you all this negative shit about her. And it's not working. She wants you to turn your back on her and leave her out in the cold. This is toxic. Hidden truth because she's a fake. It says you're hidden, you are hiding from your true self. She needs to go find herself. That's what she needs to do. She needs to gain her own independence and find some love and put the self-love into herself. And stop trying to be like the empress because she could never be because she do not love herself. Yo. Yup. Seeing things from a higher perspective. You need to see things from a higher perspective with this baby mama. So if you invite her to your house, if you feel like she's really happy for y'all, no, the fuck she ain't. No, she ain't. There go that seven. This is my seven of swords once again. You need to take caution because this broad is sneaky. Okay? Okay, let's see what else is going on, Emperor. Because I feel like you're trying to feel like you could co-parent with her and all of that and bring her around your wife and your family. No. No, no, no. Okay? Also, with this wealthy man, this wealthy man right here is somebody who she promised she would pay them. She would pay them if she gets rid of your wife and he end up getting caught. Because this is what I pulled up in the pre-shuffle. This She promised this masculine, this person could be a Scorpio. She promised him wealth. Okay? Yeah. Official person, here it is. And also, she don't like the fact that things have changed. She don't like this change because ever since you got with your empress, you guys have been flowing with the blessings that you, you, your life is a success ever since you got with this empress, this divine feminine, the mature woman. Okay? A lot of unexpected income has been flowing for both of y'all since you guys got on this journey. Okay? Since you got on your life's path with this empress, yeah. A lot of unexpected income has been coming in. That sudden wealth has been flowing. That great fortune has been flowing for you and your empress. She don't like that shit. She don't like that. Everything has completely changed since you left her. And she don't like that. She's fronting like she's happy for y'all, but she really ain't. She's sneaky. Spirit is telling you to be cautious of her. Okay? Because the seven of swords represents betrayal. Okay, and this broad is rushing off. She's gathering information and don't even know nothing about your wife with that gathering information right here. She's gathering information coming at you with all sorts of bullshit telling you the information. She's digging up information on your on your wife so you so you can leave her. Okay? And I feel like she's also coming around to your property, studying y'all schedule, studying y'all moves, so she can know how to set you up. <sighs> Yep, because ever since you left, you have leveled up in your life ever since without her. You got to be cautious of this broad. She's no good. Don't think you could co-parent with her. But this phase is about to end, okay? The phase, the phase is about to end. If you Once you open your eyes, you need to cut her off. You need to put her, you need to set boundaries with this broad, okay? What else is going on, Spirit? Yeah, look at her studying, research, occult things. She's out here trying to practice. This says this book says little books of spells. So I told you when I said she was trying to do spell work, she was going to try to make a love advances towards you. And it's challenging to her. She's pissed off because you're not taking it because you truly love this, this, this empress. You really, truly love your wife. So when you go over there, when she calls you over the house, to give you a message of concern about this child, huh? To, and that's when she tried to make an offer to you and you turn it down. It's heavy on her. It's heavy on her. She's pissed. 
She don't like that you turn her down. Because you completely changed. Yo. Your life has completely changed. And she don't like that shit. See, it says right here, there will be a reason to celebrate. You guys are celebrating right now. That's that three of cups. So this wedding is about to happen. But she's trying her best to not make it happen. She's stubborn as hell. You could be dealing with an Aries. She is stubborn as hell. But you need to see through the fog. Okay? You need to see through the fog. You need to see get things clear right here. It says you're seeing your vision is getting clear. All right. So if you're noticing shit where she's gossiping about your wife and every time you, you go over there and it, it's not about the child, by the time he gets to that house, it's not about the child. You end up talking about it, end up turning into an argument and a burden about about your wife to be or or your wife. Cuffing season. Here it is. It says the 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 season for a relationship is coming up. That's that marriage. Here it is. That's that marriage. Yeah, y'all about to celebrate. This marriage is happening. It's happening whether she wants it to or not. You're in love, okay? So she's submerged in her emotions, Queen of Cups. Here she is. She's all submerged in her feelings. Her feelings are running deep and concealed because she's sneaky. She's acting like she's happy for y'all, but she really ain't. Whoever she's teaming up with, Working with, this is the person who's doing these spells. Here it is. My little spell book. Where is that? Whoever she's working with, researching occult shit, they're giving her rituals and things to do to separate you guys. And that's what she's doing. And I feel like that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to put a spell on you. But when you come over there and you take this offer from her, yeah, because she, she got a lot of, she's sneaking. She's sneaking. She got a lot of secrets. She's secretly doing this. She's pulling moon magic. She's pulling spells with the moon. That's what I'm telling you. She could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You, that's what she's doing. She's teaming up with somebody here. And I seen the high priestess. I seen the high priestess, yup. She want to give you drinks. She's trying to get you tipsy. When you come over to the house, be very mindful of this baby mama. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm telling you right now. She's no good. She gets pissed off. You, she kicks you out of the house because she gets mad. Because you ain't taking her offer. All of a sudden, it ain't about the child. It's about trying to get you in bed or talking about your fiance or your wife. You bl you block her. Access denied. Private. You blocking this broad. Block that communication from her. Okay? Because she keeps sending you these damn messages. And when you get there, it's not about the child. She's trying to use magic to get you back. But continue to cleanse your space because see shit is becoming very, it's becoming to a break. It's turning, to, it's like, it says right here, breaking point. Things are becoming too much for her to bear. So you need to proceed with caution because she's a copycat. She's pissed. Someone is mimicking everything you do. She wants to be the divine feminine. She is pissed off. Okay. You need to purify your energy because that blackmail is her trying to tell you that you ain't going to see your child. Yeah, she's trying to tell you that you ain't going to see your child if you marry this woman, okay? You're already giving too much to that situation, and now you're balanced. You're giving her only what she need with that four of pentacles. You're holding back now because you was giving too much, like I said before. You was probably giving her a lot of unexpected money. You know, you was giving her extras. You was giving her that extras, but ever since you got on your journey, she don't like that. Look at that. She was getting extras, but now you're holding it back because you're realizing you're giving too much to that situation. You're starting holding back your energy on her and everything because she's used to calling you and at the drop of the dime, you there because you're an emperor, you're a mature man, you're a stand-up guy. So this is a warning for you. This broad is catfishing because she's fake as fuck. She's fake as hell. Okay? She's fake. Okay? This broad got addictions. So it says someone could be facing addictions. Yeah, that's that devil card. That's that obsession. Okay? She gets high. She's stubborn. She's sitting here thinking and plotting how the fuck she gonna get this, get you out of your element and stop this marriage. She's fake. The grass was fake. The grass was fake. The grass was greener because it was fake. She's faking it like she's happy for y'all, but it's stressing her the fuck out. Okay? Be careful of this broad. She's pissed because you left it all behind. 
you're about to cut this broad off and it's to the point where her addictions, she gonna end up losing everything and that child. Yeah, she gonna really be in poverty because I feel like the, the things that she's doing, huh? I feel like she even try to play like she's overdosing herself just to get your attention, but she gonna end up fucking around and going to a mental institution. Yeah, that's what she gonna end up doing. That's what she gonna end up doing because she got a lot of emotions. There she go, drowning in it. Queen of Cups, that's the baby mama. Why? All because of this cuffing season with you and your new boo. She don't like this shit. Okay? Where is that access denied? They're about to reprimand her ass somewhere where she has no access to no kids, no drugs, not even her own self. Because you need to, yeah, you're going to end up leaving her behind and everything. All right now. She's pissed. There it go. I can't make it up. The black magic and all. That's what she out here practicing. And Spirit is trying to show you them signs and them symbols. Because when you go there, she start acting a fool. She's acting real fucking childish. That's the energy she's projecting on you. Okay? But Spirit guided you out of this situation. Spirit is trying to guide you. It says you are currently being guided. You're going the wrong way. Because she's out here trying to manifest her own desires. But with that eight of swords right here, this bra going to end up getting locked up. Access denied. Or she going to try to do shit to get you locked up. Pick a fight with you. I'm telling you, she's upset because she's whatever she's doing with that black magic and all that. It ain't working. All right. Now, you're not laying up for her. She's trying to get you in bed to use that sex magic on you to get herself pregnant again. It ain't working. So this broad is going to do all sorts of things to get you locked up. We've seen the imprisonment card. The fuck What's wrong with this broad? Yeah, she has expectations. She has high expectations. She's thinking of all what this, with this, with this, whoever she's going to, whoever does this black magic and doing the work for her, she's waiting for shit to happen and it ain't working. She's doing that mastery. But Spirit is like, she needs to go on about her business while she has her freedom now because it's going to get ugly and it's not going to be a good thing for her. And Spirit is trying to guide you, my divine masculine. Spirit is showing you the signs and the symbols about this broad. Okay. You're going the wrong way. She's going the wrong way. She needs to go on about her business. All right? Because this is what she's doing with this black magic. I said it before I pulled these cards, and here they are. It's time to block her. Because she's going to end up getting arrested and get put into a facility for some mental health. She got issues. Okay? Why? All because you got this upgrade. And you fired her ass. Oh. <sighs> She probably even lost her job on purpose so she could collect more child support from you because she see that you got in this upgrade. She see that you get in this upgrade. So she want to take you to court judgment. She want to go to court with you for more money. She wants more money from you with that judgment and this official person. Huh? She deliberately lost her job so you could take care of her. But she's feeling bound to a current situation because she's pissed. She's trying to keep you bound. Okay? It's toxic. Because she's stuck in the fucking past. Yo, there she go with that guarded heart and that gun in her hand. All right now. So this is, I told you she needs a therapist. She needs a therapist and she's going to end up fucking around until she end up in a mental facility. I told you they're going to put, they're going to reprimand her ass to a mental facility or fucking jail. Because we've seen the arrest card. Okay, so continue to cleanse your energy, my empress. All right, if you're listening... But this is a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. Okay, put it like that. Mature man, mature woman. All right, gratitude. This man desires you and only you. So you ain't got to worry about this baby mama. Okay, because she's trying to make her desires clear with that knight of swords. Okay, at all costs. That's what it is right here. Your desires are within reach. And that's what that, that's what that spell that whoever's casting doing this black magic for is telling her. But it ain't happening gratitude y'all ancestors and y'all are protected you and your wife or your fiance all right yeah look at her obsess wow well that's what i have for y'all i wish you guys love and light and i wish you a happy and prosperous life with your new wife boo because this broad you need to open your eyes and see her for who she is okay she needs a therapist she's sitting over there plotting with the black magic and it's challenging to her honey she don't like that. She's going extremely hard to make sure that you are you and your wife or your fiance is done. But show gratitude because your spirit guides are showing you them signs. All right. Show gratitude because you see it. 
She out here pulling all sorts of spells with the moon and the magic and that shit is ending. It's not coming. It says this phase will soon end. She's pulling all sorts of stunts and it ain't working because she's still stuck in the past and whatever she's doing is turn it's, it's, it's mentally fucking with her now at this point. It's fucking with her mentally. Whatever demons, whatever she's doing with that black magic, huh? It's fucking with her. It's haunting her. It's going to end up getting her into a fucking mental facility. Straight up. And you're going to end up leaving her all behind, even with your child. You're going to end up leaving her. She's going to be right here in poverty. Okay? This is the five of pentacles. Spiritually bound and, and, and financially bound. She can't do nothing. Okay? Yeah, because she's childish. And she's a hater. She's a hater with that five of swords. She's fucking envious of this empress. She's envious of your wife or your fiancé to be. Your wife to be. My bad. She's trying to dig up all sorts of messages, trying to find out information, and it's a burden to her. It's heavy on her ass. And bringing stress and burdens to your life, interrupting your life. Yo, there go that pathway. There go that eight. That shit is about to end. That phase is ending, though, because you're about to get full custody of this child or your children. Yeah, you are. You're about to get full custody and have a happy, successful life. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I wish you guys love and light.